with a two run blast or a double or you go to the opposite field to at least advance the runner. I'm all in for the two run blast personally. And a lot of press oh. one of the best oh. with the ball game. Out of sight. A two run bomb into the second deck for Pete Alonso. And just like that the Mets walk off with a seven to six win. Third career walk off home run for Pete Alonso and he made no mistake. Runners at first and second with two outs. And Garcia pulls it left side, backhanded. Arenado throws the stretch. Oh, they got him! Gold Glovers on both ends from foul territory. Arenado and the stretch by Goldie. Holy smokes, what a play here. Terrific play by Arenado and Goldschmidt. Cardinals have gold everywhere. On to the second inning, no score. Ground ball towards the middle. Wong, gloves, flips to Adamas. There's one, there's two. Sensational double play. Turn between Wong and Adamas. Can't do it any better. The defense has been on fire. Colton Wong with the glove flip. Adamas showing off the bazooka that he carries around. Man, that is a pitcher's best friend. That right there, it saves your outing. It saves what's coming next. Two outs, all loaded up for Goldie. The one, two. Goldschmidt hits it out to left, and this will do it. And he does it in grand style. It's a grand slammer. A walk-off grand slam home run for Paul Goldschmidt. And he is being mobbed at the plate. I mean mobbed at the plate. Now it's up to Josh Naylor. <laughs> In the ninth inning, tied it with a grand slam just to the right of center. He clobbers another one. Deep right field. Back his angle. He's out of room. It's out of here. Naylor's done it again. Yes, indeed. A grand slam in the ninth. A three-run homer with two out in the 11th. Look at him. Eight RBI night. 12-9 Guardians. This one into deep center field. Cameron's still going back. He leaps and he's got it up against the wall. Daz Cameron stole it and turns it into a double play. Whoa, baby, was that special. Inning ending double play. What a play by Daz Cameron. Wow. He timed his jump at the top of the wall perfectly. And the runner on first hedges was all the way to second and easily doubled off. Hooking toward the gap, Buxton over, and a leaping catch at the warning track. Oh, what a catch by Byron Buxton. I didn't think there was a chance in the world that he would get there. That ball had some hook on it. Oh, boy. Buxton right on the warning track. Leap was in the air for about 10 feet. It's a drive out to deep center field. Grisham going back at the wall. Leaps and makes the catch in center. Trent Grisham, the Gold Glove center fielder, goes back, times the link, and reels it in. Trent Grisham up and over the fence in center field to take away a home run and end the top of the second inning. Oh, what a play. Timed it perfectly, got back to the wall, and that is just pure athleticism. Trent Grisham with the play of the year defensively here early on for the Padres. And a roller, Cruz. Oh, oh my oh, goodness! How about oh. that arm? Cub fans who are watching this will think about Sean Dunstan. Yep. That was a clothesline, and Chavis, <laughs> they go, wow, that was a laser. Tough, tough ball to his backhand. Picks it clean, and just comes up absolutely firing. We're on cycle watch here for Austin. He's a double away. That ball's belted, left center field by Hayes. It's over the head of Thomas. It will score Nevin, it will score Mateo. And I, there's no way Austin's thinking about three. He's gonna pull up easily into second. Austin Hayes hits for the cycle in four at-bats. Brooks Robinson, Cal Ripken, 
Aubrey Huff, Felix P.A., Jonathan V.R., and now Austin Hayes have hit for the cycle for the Orioles. There's a flare to right center. Riley Green got to go jump. Oh, did he pull that in? He did. <laughs> Superman dive and Riley Green makes one of the best players of the season. A blast up the gap off the bat of Kennedy. Riley Green flies through the air with a backhand grab and takes extra bases away. In the air to center, Alec Thomas in pursuit at the wall. Oh, he got it! Alec Thomas takes a home run away from Joey Votto. Jolene, Jolene. A larcenous, leaping catch from Thomas, and he takes away Votto's sixth home run of the season. You won't see a finer catch than that all season long. Now 3-2 pitch. This one's into right field, hit pretty well. This one's carrying, this one is gone! It's a grand slam for Gerard Encarnacion! His first big league home run is monumental! That's a happy dugout down there. Did they ever need that? So it's already been a great night for Trevor Story. He has a pair of home runs, a pair of two-run shots. One, oh. two, high! Story cleans him off. His third home run of the ball game. Goodness gracious. And that is what a seven RBI night looks like right there. <laughs> and there's a ground ball towards the middle. Diving stab by Wong. There's one. Throw to first. Not in time. Boy, that was set up to be a spectacular play. The fact the Brewers got one was great enough. Let's watch this glove work by Wong. Let's watch it over and over and over again. Incredible. He's not just flashing leather, he's flashing gold leather. High fly ball. Deep left center field. Profar going back. And he dives to make the catch in left center field. Profar reels it in. Back by the 399 marker. He ran a mile to get out there to make that catch. Jurickson wow. sliding feet first in front of the 399 marker, and he makes the play to end the inning. So far with maybe the best defensive play of the season so far for the Padres, keeps this game as is. And he drives it deep into left field. Lowe's gonna go to the wall, he's gonna leap, he got it! Lowe got back there and made the catch. Boy, that ball had a concerning trajectory to it from the Rays' point of view when Anderson belted that one, and Josh Lowe got back to the wall and made that leaping grab. That one is drilled deep to left center field. On the run is LaCastro. He dives and he makes the play. Oh! What a play by LoCastro! He saved an extra base hit, and he saved the run. Tim LoCastro, his first game with the Yankees this year, just made a heck of a catch in deep left center, right near the bullpen wall, and he dove and caught the ball on the track. Not a heck of a catch. So here's Arenado. He started the night with a triple in the first inning. He then hit a two-run home run in the third inning. He doubled leading off the sixth inning. So he's a single away from the cycle. Arenado hits it sharply to third. Bobbled. The throw is high. And Nolan is on base. And now on his way to second. Matt Veerling at third on a tough play and a hard hit ball. It's a cycle. And it is a base hit and an error. So a cycle for Nolan Arenado. How about that? Congratulations to Nolan Arenado for hitting for the cycle. And the first cycle for the Cardinals since April of 2005. This is Paul is driven to right. And a leaping try at the wall. Did he get it? He got it. Great catch, Guillermo Heredia. Tip of the cap from Ian Anderson. Over the wall to bring that one back. And McNeil can't believe it. He <laughs> caught it. Bring that thing back. Guillermo to the top of the wall says, not today. Oh, what a catch. What?
what a catch, Guillermo Heredia. If it wasn't going to leave, Joe, it's going to hit off the top of the wall. Deep left. Quan. Oh, my goodness, what a play. Holy mackerel, that might be the play of the year. A diving catch on the warning track by Stephen Quan. And the Guardians maintain the lead. Fly ball deep into left center field. Phillips on the run. He lays out and he got it. Phillips, an unbelievable grab in left center field to take an extra base hit away from Trevor Storm. Oh, what a catch by Phillips out there in center field racing toward left center. Long way to go. And he is able to run that down. You don't see it much better than that right there. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he needed every bit of that outfielder glove, too. Oh, yeah. Darren Walsh now will bat. He has a chance to hit for the cycle. He has a single, double, and homer. Hasn't had a triple this year. Had just one last year. Driven to center. Is it going to get down? Oh, look out! Look out! It gets the center field. He's going to do it. He's in there. What a game. The cycle for Jared Walsh. And look at his teammates. The one, two. And this is in the air. Out to the alley in right center. And wide lays out. And he makes a spectacular catch. And Eli White has done it again. <laughs> even his manager looks amazed. Well, I think what a gonna, grab. I think he's going to have the play of the week again. This is absolutely outstanding. What a tremendous route to get to this baseball. The 2-2 right back up the middle. Speared by Baez, and he flips to Candelario for the out at second. Oh, what a dazzling play by Javier Baez. That was destined for center, but not with him up the middle. The awareness of knowing where second base is as he's diving to his right, he knocks the ball down, it pops out of his glove. He knows that Candy's going to get over there to cover the bag, and without even hardly looking, he flips it between his legs. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, my. That's big league right there. Oh, you bet. And Rowdy Telez is going to get another opportunity to hit with the bases loaded. Two homers already today. Telez, deep right, back, track, wall, off the top of the fence. One run is in, two runs are in. Rowdy Telez missed another grand slam by a foot. Oh, my. It would have been something to behold if he did. What a night. He's got eight RBIs. It is a new Brewers franchise record for single game runs batted in. Here is Michael Perez and with a couple of home runs. He's driven in four. He's three for three. And it's a drive to right. Michael Perez clears the deck. A three homer game. We've witnessed history again. Well, we just saw a three home run game yesterday by Brian Reynolds. And 11 days ago, we saw one by Jack Sawinski. So the Pirates, for the first time ever, have three three home run games in a season, let alone in a month. Well, that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar, who has had the biggest night of any bet. He's driven in four of the Mets' seven runs, a two-run single in the first, a two-run homer in the eighth, a double in the fourth in between, triple, and he would have the cycle. And Escobar shoots one down the right field line toward the corner, and it's beyond the reach of Mazzara. Alonso is in to score. Canna right behind him. It's going to be a triple for Escobar. Uh, He's got the cycle. Eduardo Escobar with two more RBIs, six for the night, and he has hit for the cycle. The first men in 10 years to have a single, double, triple, and home run in the same game. 2-0 pitch, Suzuki gets a hold of one. Back that goes, off the wall and left center and a good ricochet for Seiya, heading for third. They're gonna wave him in. Suzuki heads for home, the throw to the plate, not in time. Seiya Suzuki.
Suzuki touches them all. And the Cubs grab a 2-1 lead off of Josh Hader. Oh, man, was that fun. Just spectacular. Suzuki fresh off the IL, gets into a Hader fastball, and plays a little pinball with the center field wall. In the air, deep right center field. And this one is oh. caught. Randall Pritchett Woo! takes a three-run home run from Corey Seager. <laughs> wow is right. Caught by Gritchick, leaning over the wall. He snags a home run. That was in the bullpen. He jumped, timed it perfectly, and robbed the hitter, Corey Seager. Unbelievable catch. The left field, chased by Gordon. On the track, and wow. Did Buxton catch that ball? Oh, my goodness, he did. Incredible. Cutting behind Gordon and making a tremendous catch. With a smile oh, on his face. Oh, my goodness, that might be his best ever. <laughs> I'm not sure how he caught the ball with Nick Gordon going in front of him, just, you know, in completely in his line of sight. 3-2. That's a fly ball to right center. Mullins got a perfect jump, and he made a perfect catch. That is as good as it gets. Andrew Vaughn with a helmet tip to the amazing flying man in center field. Diving to his left in the right center field alley, and all Vaughn can do is take his helmet off and tip his cap to Cedric Mullins, who entertains while going over in a right center field. The second home run of the inning allowed by Hayter. Now it's a one-run game. Tying run at third, winning run at second, and Mike Yastrzemski is coming to the plate for San Francisco. High drive in the center field. Davis on the move. It is out of here. And this game is over. Just an unbelievable night to cap off an unbelievable game. Left center field, long run, Springer, he got it! How about that play from George Springer? What a play! George Springer, airborne, snatches it out of the sky! There's a Rogers Center highlight that'll live forever. George Springer with an incredible diving grab in the gap. He comes up, pumped up. And Jack Sawinski bidding for a three home run game. If he gets it, the Pirates win it. Oh, no. In the air to right. This is deep. And he did it again. Jack Sawinski wins it for the Pirates. Three home runs in a game for the Pirates rookie. You never know what you're going to see, and we just saw it. With three home runs, only Andrew McCutcheon had ever done that. A Pirates rookie with three home runs in a game. And the Yankees are down to their final out. Astros pitchers have thrown eight and two-thirds no-hit innings. And Giancarlo Stanton is the Yankees' final hope. Ground ball towards third. Two hots for Bregman, and the Astros have done it again in Yankee Stadium. A combined no-hitter. Christian Javier goes seven, Hector Neris goes one, Presley finishes it off with a one, two, three, ninth inning. The Yankees no-hit for the first time in 19 years since the Astros did it with six pitchers on June 11, 2003. Gimp, what a play! Stop it, Tony Gimp! What? Maybe the best play of the year, folks. I mean, that is full airborne. Diving play to his right. Unbelievable catch by Tony Gimp. Spectacular. As he flies through the air and even Tony mouth wide open. That was unbelievable. Tony Kemp just made the highlight reel for everybody on a Tuesday night. Real Muto, like the two guys before him, have great numbers against Diaz. He struck him out! Five men pitchers combined for the second no-hitter in New York Mets history. Edwin 
Diaz puts on the finishing touches, striking out the side of the ninth inning. Jock Peterson has hit two home runs tonight. Two run shot to right in the third, and a two run blast over the center field wall in the fifth inning. That one is wet, and this game is tied. We may not have seen one quite like that since Barry Bonds used to cavort here. That pitch is out over the plate and hit the deep center field. Taylor is at the track, he's at the wall, and he caught it. Michael A. Taylor got his foot on the wall and catapulted himself up and may have taken a home run away from Kisner. Oh my goodness! Maybe the play of the year in center. Michael A. Taylor takes one away in one of the best plays you'll ever see. Big pitch at 2-0. That is a home run. That is Julio Rodriguez! A two-run shot the Mariners have. A 4-0 lead. Hey now for Julio. My goodness, 15th home run. RBI 42-43. Listen to these Mariner fans here in San Diego. Dies of the tying run. Brendan Rodgers will face Cole Sulcer. He's had a great night with two home runs and a walk and three runs scored. High fly, deep left. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Two-run walk-off winner, Brendan Rodgers, his third of the day. A day he will never forget. It's his third home run tonight, and it's a walk-off two-run shot. How about this? The Rockies come back in 10 innings and win it 13-12. to This ball smacked out towards center field. Eli White ranging back. He's at the wall. He lives. Oh, he What amazing catch! How did he get to that ball? Eli White takes one away from G-Man Joy. Yeah, you better smile. <laughs> wow! Unbelievable play as he steals a home run for G-Man Joy in front of the visitors' bullpen. Spectacular catch climbing grab by Eli White. High fly right center. Buxton chasing it. Making the catch at the wall. They've got a possible triple play. There's two. Now a throw to first will be a triple play. Byron Buxton catching it at the wall, and there will be three outs at the end of all this. The White Sox implode as they run themselves all over the field. Adam Engel was running. Johan Moncada was running. They forgot that the best center fielder on the planet is in the game. Byron Buxton caught that ball in right center field. He gloved it, and the White Sox at that point had two runners near third base. And the White Sox run themselves out of a potential game-changing inning. Hey, Dylan, I just want to let you know that Dylan Carlson's about to be the next hitter. First three guys, three guys in front of you just hit home runs. No pressure, though. No pressure, indeed. Carlson makes it four in a row, way out of here. Four consecutive home runs for St. Louis. Arenado, Gorman, Yepes, and now Dillon. Five nothing St. Louis. What a display of power for the Cardinals. Well, this is a first for me. No doubt. One strike away soul in this place that doesn't know what's at stake. And here's the next delivery. It's chopped to short. This should do it. The throw to first. It's a no-hitter. It's a no-hitter. Three dippers in just his 11th major league start. Pitches a no-hitter. That's the 13th in Angels history. He's being mobbed by his teammates over by the first base area. A historical night tonight at the Big A. 
What a night for Reed Detmers. The youngster just 22 years old. Everything working tonight. What a night for Reed Detmers. Lauer with a 1-2-3, bottom of the first inning. Here's a fly ball out to deep center. Davis back onto the track, reaching out, makes a catch in a full dive and then collides with the wall. He hangs on. Rosarena is racing around the bases just in case, but he held on to it. Davis is still down in pain, though. Oh, what a catch by Jonathan Davis. Still on a knee. I don't know how he made that catch. It took him all the way back to the wall. He had to reach almost behind him and flip around and make the catch. And now Jonathan Davis, he's going to stay in this game, and that is amazing that he is going to stay in this game. Garcia with the 0-2. An nice. immaculate inning. Nine pitch, three strikeout. Rarely happens in baseball. Luis Garcia, an immaculate inning and a fist pump on his way to the dugout. One strike away from another immaculate inning. He yes! did it! That was incredible! You've got to be kidding me! Two, two immaculate innings. Two of them. In one game. That has to be a new Major League mark. That could not have ever happened before. Phil Maton is thrilled as he walks <laughs> off the mound. Luis Garcia just got matched by Maton. Same three guys. Unreal. Shohei Otani come off a couple of good outings. Same. What he did last night and what he's able to do on the bump. And he strikes out to side. Is he feeling or what? He knew that baseball was a strike out of his hand. You talk about a guy willing this team to give him a chance to win. It's a master at work. Career high strikeouts 12 for Otani, done twice. It is in there! A career high 13 strikeouts for Shohei Otani. Remember, the night before, he had eight RBIs. Last night, he goes for 13 Ks. He is the only player in history huh. in, that in a season, since 1920, since they started tracking this stuff, to have at least eight RBIs and 13 strikeouts as a pitcher. He did it in back-to-back -back days. And here comes Cabrera. Everybody on their feet here at Comerica Park. 1-1, one, one, ground ball, base hit in the right! 3,000 for Miguel Cabrera! Raises his arms, the Tigers' dugout empties! Oh, what an incredible journey from a skinny 15-year-old discovered on the dusty fields of Morakai to an icon in Motown. Miguel Cabrera, the pride of Venezuela, has joined one of the most exclusive clubs containing the best hitters in baseball history. 3,000 hits.